Our company, Autologica, is a provider of auto dealer software. Uh, it's a segment called Dealer Management Systems that's very big and it's growing all around the world. Well, NADA is a huge event held every year in the U.S. It's an event geared towards auto dealers and dealer managers, staff members, consultants from all over the world travel to the U.S. to see the latest products, latest services, and to see where the industry is heading. Um, so it's, it's a huge event, uh, something like 18,000 attendees this year, hundreds of exhibitors. And although the focus isn't just on software, I'd say that software is a very big part of the event. Uh, you have providers of DMS solutions, CRM solutions, website solutions. Well, this year's focus at the event was on profitability. We all know the tough times the auto industry is going through all around the world, especially in North America right now. The day before NADA began, there was a panel, a DMS panel, hosted by the people from Dixon Hughes. It was very interesting because we had a chance to see what the major providers of DMS software in the U.S. are doing, what they're thinking about. Of course, ADP and Reynolds and Reynolds were the, the biggest providers in the world. They were there. But also, we had a chance to listen to Arcona, um, Autosoft, Adam, and some of the smaller providers who are starting to compete more strongly with the big two. Well, actually, we don't compete directly with any of these providers. We target different markets, ADP, Reynolds and & Reynolds, and the smaller providers that were here. They focus mainly on North America, the U.S. and Canada, whereas we are strongly focused on emerging markets, Latin America and the Caribbean, the Middle East, South Africa, and the rest of the African continent. Well, the DMS panel focused on some of the main issues concerning dealers in North America. One of the principal topics covered, which is seems to be a recurring issue, it's, it's, it's present every year, was the issue of data ownership. Who owns the data in a DMS? You'd think it would be obvious that a dealer owns its own data, but it seems that with some of the providers, it becomes an issue for a dealer to access its own data, for a dealer to share its data with third-party software providers. So there was a large discussion on this issue. Each provider was able to give their point of view, and they were quite contrasting, I'd say. Some of the uh, more proprietary systems tend to, with the idea of safeguarding the data, they tend to put up barriers that make it harder for a dealer to share their data. And this does have some merit if you think about um, data security issues and data integrity issues. But then again, you'd want a dealer to have smooth access or simple access to their data. So some of the smaller providers were able to show and to tell what they, what they think about this issue. Another big issue was pricing, of course. Um, dealers today are very price sensitive with the tough times they're going through. So monthly costs are an issue, and the, the providers were able to tell the audience what their pricing schemes are and what their plans are for the future. Well, the main conclusion from the DMS panel, I'd say, would be that although it's undoubtable that ADP and Reynolds and & Reynolds are the main players in this software segment in North America, some of the smaller players are making inroads. They have some very interesting products and services that they're adding, and they are gaining some ground against the big two. So it looks to be a very, very competitive market in North America for DMS companies.